It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Brewdog Pump Action Poet Stone Fruit IPA coming in at 7.5% ABV. Wonderful design on the can. From a distance it looks like Robocop reading a book. Some kind of Robo Ninja reading a book. I really like it. It's, it's very different. Um, Brewdog are doing some fabulous stuff with the artwork on their cans at the moment. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get this 7.5% IPA out into a glass and see what we get. So it's a beer that's been brewed with stone fruits. So maybe some peach, some mango. I'm sure peaches and mangoes got stones in the middle. Pretty sure of it. A stone fruit infused India Pale Ale. So, beer in the glass, one finger white head. It's actually a little hazy for a Brewdog beer. And it's nice to see. I almost made a video um, recently because I mean everybody's brewing these New England IPAs everybody's brewing these Vermont style IPAs but nothing really from Brewdog and I'm thinking to myself where's your hazy beer Brewdog what's going on where's, where's you normally kind of with the cutting edge or with the, where the craft beer movement is going you're kind of there so it's nice to see that it's slightly hazy I think I've, yeah, I, I, I think I've mentioned before in the past that I think Brewdog's beers are far, far too, they're too shiny, they're too, they're too bright, they're too, they're too kind of pleasing to the eye these days. Um, but yeah, it looks like they're, they're kind of changing, which is a good thing to see. Let's get the aroma on this, on this slightly hazy, light amber coloured beer. Good levels of carbonation, one finger white head. Here we go, aroma. You know, Brewdog's beers, I don't know if you kind of agree with me on this, but I can smell a Brewdog beer a mile off. Again, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just probably the way they produce their beer now. But there's just something that says this is Brewdog. It's almost like a slightly lemonade-y aroma that comes from most of their beers these days. You get a little bit of the peach, you get a little bit of the mango, you get a little bit of the stone fruit in there. Let's dive in. Cheers. Whoa! Oh! Oh, blimey! It... Ah! It's, um... It's really musty. It's like... Do you know when you... You were a kid and... You know, when we were teenagers, especially, you know, we used to prune ourselves before we went out to the disco. We'd drink some cheap lager before we went to the disco. And we'd cover ourselves in Lynx spray. The Lynx deodorant. Ah, Tempest. I used to use a lot of the Tempest, you know. It used to work a treat for me. But every now and again, you know, you spray so much of it that inevitably some of it would get in your mouth. It's a little bit like that. It's a little bit like getting hairspray in your mouth on the back end. Initially, I was like, wow, this is, this is really good. And then this kind of crazy hairspray mustiness just took over, completely took over. And, I, and it kind of left me with that, I've just sprayed hairspray in my mouth. My mouth is open. Ah, um, let's go again, let's go again.
So what do we get? Initially, it's a Brewdog beer. It's carbonated and and ah, and then this horrible ah, it's disgusting. What is going on? Come on, Brewdog. What is going on? You're really making me fucking angry. You used to. Oh, let's calm down a minute. Try and pull some more flavours from this beer. Let's try and make this beer review a beer review before we turn it into a great big ranting video yet again. It's drinkable. Then it's a brew dog beer. It tastes like a brew dog beer. That lemonade -y kind of brew dog beer taste. And then I don't know what the hell's going on. And I'm struggling so much. I mentioned it before. I can't quite remember the Brewdog beer. That... I can't, I, I can't pull no more flavour out of this, it's, it's just, I'm going to leave the beer review with, it tastes like that kind of lemonade-y brew dog taste, and then it's like you've sprayed hairspray in your mouth by accident, or, or Lynx deodorant by accident, um, it's a very, very nasty, troubling aftertaste finish to the beer. I've actually said aftertaste because it, it didn't, it's not flavour, it's it's just a weird aftertaste. <sighs> One more try. I'm being as, as, as open-minded as I possibly can regarding this beer. Lemonade, little bit of grapefruit, maybe a touch of lime, and then maybe a touch of mango or, or stone fruit, and then a complete and utter mess. You've heard enough about that, yeah? If you came here for the beer review, it was only going to be a beer review. I promise. I, I didn't. I didn't set out. I've not read any reviews of this beer. I've not read anything on Rate Beer. I've not read anything on Beer Advocate. Um, I don't read beer reviews. This is my own personal take on a beer that I thought looked fantastic in the can. I'm, this is the lowest score in Brewdog beer that I think I've ever rated. This is a two, a two out of 10. This is absolutely, now if you've come here for the beer review, two out of 10, thanks for watching, goodbye. If you wanna stay for the rant, here we go. This, if this beer here is not panic stations by now for Brewdog, then they're walking into the biggest train wreck that I think is ever going to happen in the brewing industry. I, I just don't know what they're doing. I just don't know what they're... I don't know who's overseeing the beer. James Watt cannot be overseeing this beer. This man who was one of the, the, the most inspirational people in growing the craft beer market in in Britain and then Europe and then America, I I can almost guarantee that James Watt has not tasted this beer. Somebody else is in charge. Somebody else is drinking, making this beer and drinking this beer and saying it's okay. Send it out. It's a brew dog beer. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. It's just getting worse. It is getting worse and worse and fucking worse. 
You've got people like The Dance, and you've got people like Cloudwater, and even, dare I say it, dare I say it, Ballast Point Brewing Company are still, let's, let's move The Dance and Cloudwater to the side for one minute. Ballast Point Brewing Company, even though they've been taken over by a mega brewery, guys at BrewDog, they are still producing good beer. You're not anymore. You are not producing good beer anymore, BrewDog. This is, this is quite frankly, crap. This is... It's... I... An... I, I don't know where I'm going. I'm, I'm lost. Maybe, maybe I need to go and go to the Brewdog Hotel and calm down and, and, and sit in a bath full of beer and, and, and just chill out for a moment. Maybe I need to do that. Maybe that's what's important. Now, maybe, maybe it'd be really important now for me to, to not bother drinking really good Brewdog beer anymore. And maybe it's, I should just go and go to America and, and stay in their hotel and, and sit in a bath of beer all day. Maybe maybe that's what they want me to do. Maybe maybe that's what's important now to them. Um, this is terrible. This is this is just it's getting beyond the joke. I'm to be honest with you, I'm gutted. I'm gutted it's come to this. Um, back in 2011 and 2012, when it come round to my birthday in May, somebody asked me, my sister or my dad or my mum, what do you want for your birthday? Ah, just get me some punk IPA. It's it's fantastic beer. Get me some punk, and 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 it'll make my birthday, and 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 I'll just really enjoy it. And it's a fantastic beer. Um, It's all changed. It's all. It it's they 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 say about other breweries setting out and and like Ballast Point to a mega corporation, but there's no difference here. With in fact, it's worse. The situation's worse here with Brewdog because they've taken investors on board, big investors now, and of course, investors want returns. Investors they put their money in. And they by heck want their money back and some and some more. So they're under pressure from their investors. They're probably under pressure from their board. Um, it's all about margins. It's all about profits. Um, and unfortunately, it's not about the beer anymore. And I can quite honestly sit back and say I've watched the decline. For me, for me personally, the decline the decline first started when. I was in my local Brewdog bar in Cardiff, and for the locals, for, the, for a lot of people in South Wales, certainly Barry and Cardiff and Newport, which are the, of course, the, the surrounding areas, Brewdog Cardiff was known for its amazing burgers. The burgers were just incredible. They, they were, there was pro professional burger joints in Cardiff that, that couldn't keep up with Brewdog. Um, they were losing share to Brewdog's bar for burgers and, 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 and beer and just the experience. And then and then they stopped it, just bluntly stopped it. It was called Juicy Lucy. It was the best Brewdog burger. I made a video about it and I'm glad I did before they, 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 they stopped making this, this quality style of food. And that's the word, quality. They ended up making... They stopped the burgers and they started like making these weird beef patties in between two slices of bread. And people were like, well, what are you bloody doing? And I thought to myself, ah, you know, I'm going to give that a miss. I'm not going to eat that. I, I don't fancy anything off the menu. Um, and I went to another burger bar. And... <laughs> And I suppose that's, for me personally, that's when, personally, I first started to notice the change. Because, of course, after about a year, 
Brewdog decided to reinstate the burgers. But they've reinstated the burgers, but me and my wife, who used to eat the Brewdog burgers weekly, on a weekly basis, we went back excited that they brought the burgers back, but they weren't the same quality. The meat was not the same quality in the burger. Um, everything was different. Everything was different about the, the food. It was like a it was like a step down from, from quality. And over the last few years now that I've seen a I, I I'm trying to think of the beers. Some of the beers I've been reviewing lately from Brewdog have just been The Neon Overlord. The Neon Overlord was, was just, it was all marketing. The Chili Jack Hammer or whatever it was called was, was a far better beer. And they brought it out at the same time, which was a mistake. Because Neon Overlord got all the marketing, like, like this. And the Chili Hammer, it was called Chili Hammer, I think. Chili Hammer came in the same can and it was, and it was had not, a lot more chili. It wasn't saying it's got more chilli, the Neon Overlord on the back it was saying it's crazy chilli and, and this that and the other and I put the two beers side by side and the chilli hammer was better and the Neon Overlord was just marketing bull. And it's just come down and down and down, the quality's just been coming down and down and down so um, I suppose I've been talking for quite a long time now about this subject um, but I'm just going to end it with this. Um, I fear disaster, complete capitulation for Brewdog if this carries on. If this whole situation carries on, if they keep producing beers like this and concentrating on marketing bull like like bathing in, in a bath of beer in a hotel in America, then I just fear the worst for Brewdog. I just fear that it could all end very badly for them. Um, because very quickly, going on to what I was saying earlier about Vedant and Cloudwater and, and, and Magic Rock, they are still fundamentally about quality. It's about quality. Vedant Brewing Company are smashing absolute if you put a Vedant beer next to Brewdog it's it's light and day. It's a fantastic beer and it's what Brewdog was. Again, Cloudwater. If you put Cloudwater beers next to Brewdog, there's just no comparison. When they should be. They fucking well fucking should be. Because oh, I, you know I I really, really hate getting angry. I, I just, I'm just going to end it. I'm just going to, just going to finish it up. I give the beer a two out of ten. Um, I'm just a voice. If you don't agree, dislike the video. It's up to you. If you agree with what I'm saying, um, please leave a comment. Leave your own personal um, experience with what's going on at Brewdog and, and what Brewdog was to what the company is today. Um, yeah, please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.